Okay, what we have here is a clogged nozzle. If I try and load the filament, and it goes, click, 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 not working. Unload. Okay, so clogged nozzle, not good. Let's turn it off and remove this. This is where it gets fun. 3 mil Allen key on my MakerBot Replicator 2. Now, the reason it got clogged is because the print job failed partway through. Now, I've seen this when filaments run out. This particular job stopped partway through for no apparent reason. It was on a very fine setting, so it could be the design was problematic. Try not to lose these little bits, these little spaces. Okay, so the fan goes out the way, that goes out the way. And we've got ourselves a print mechanism in there, and the clog will actually be there. Now, you might be able to get it out, but I think not. So, the next step is going to be to remove it on the side. And this is a crosshead screwdriver you need for this, believe it or not, despite the fact that I'm using a small flat blade. This is quite a complicated bit because it's the fan that blows over the head while it's actually printing. And that comes off there nicely. And the screws go everywhere. And that comes off. And there's loads of wires in this bit here. Now to get this off, we have to go further. Same Allen key again, female Allen key. And it goes onto these two screws that are down to the base like this. You can just about see. And those come out. Again, Allen key on this one. And this allows those to come out quite nicely. Little, little Allen nuts like that. And I like to take the screws right out because otherwise they fall out later and you don't know where they've gone. Right, so that's got that off. This now allows the whole motor to come off. This time it's not. Last time it was a plug in there, a plug of filament. This time it's a broken filament. I'm guessing this is what happened. So I'm now going to turn the whole thing back on and turn it to preheat so that this will hopefully get hot enough to let me pull it out. Screw it on. So under 37 degrees, that will take a moment to preheat. it's hot enough I'll be able to pull the filament out. 144 degrees, this is the boring bit. But yes, last time what happened is the when I ran out of filament, the filament obviously goes through this filament feeder here and through here. Now this is a cold block at the top, there's a fan on this, and underneath there's the hot end. So normally this doesn't get too hot. And what had happened is the machine had run for an hour with just this little bit of filament in it where the filament's broken. And the result is this got hot enough that it created a plug in here. And this was wide enough that you couldn't pull it up or down, you couldn't push it through, and heating the head didn't help because it didn't heat this enough to melt that plug. So I couldn't force filament through, I had to dismantle it, and out came the little plug. This time, we've actually got filament in there, which is odd that I can't force it through. I'd expect to have been able to push this through from the top, so maybe I didn't need to dismantle it, but you get the idea. On this occasion, I have tried that, it didn't work. So we're gonna try pulling the filament out. Okay, it's 226 degrees. It might be hot enough. Now, there's no fan on this, so this will get a bit hot this time, but let's just try. Yeah, look at that. One broken bit of filament. Now, that should now be quite happy to take a new feed of filament through it. So, we're going to turn off the heater this time, cool down, and turn off the machine and put it back together. So, first thing is we need this block back on there nicely. Um, you might wonder why it's positioned. Well, the reason it can move is because the screws here go all the way through into it. So there is that. So it might be easier to put this on first. So there's that. We then have the fan on the front, like this. But between the two, there's spacers. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the guard through the fan. Put the spacer like that. And then the same with this one, again through the fan, and 
Put the spacer. Small technical hitch, where's the spacer gone? Oh, there's always one, isn't there? Lots of stringy plastic. Okay, well this is why I said I like to remove the screws and things at the time, because they go everywhere. I can't see the spacer. Now let's just check it's not sitting in here somewhere lurking. No, no evidence of it. There's only the one spacer there. It's not on the bed here, which is where I'd expect to have put it. And oh, well, this is going to be a bit of an abortive video because I'm not going to be able to put it back together. Because the spacer is completely over. Well, that's fun. Not all I can see there. Um, I'll have to watch the video back and see if I can see where it fell. Oh well, okay, sorry about that, but you get the idea. It goes back together the way it came. Screws and spacers through there, the two Allen nuts in there, and then the two screws on the side, and you get back to a working maker bot, unlike mine. <laughs>